Back in Silly Election Watch on Galaxy TV, we'll take you straight to Abel Kutaugu State, where our correspondent John Felix is standing by with uh, a live update. Good morning, John. Yes, uh, what's the update uh, from Abel Kuta? All right, so um, it's the day after election, and I'm briefly at the island headquarters here where results are expected to be announced. You recall that late yesterday night, the INEC Red announced that pollution will be suspended due to the fact that uh, materials were being hijacked and of course INEC staffs were being attacked. So due to that, uh, results could not come down from the local government down to the pollution center here in Magbon, Abel, Kuta, the state capital. So as a result of that, Coalition and announcement were postponed till today. Results are supposed to come in anytime from now because we're told that from nine o'clock this morning results will, be, will begin to be announced. But nothing so far has happened with regards to that. So we're actually waiting to see when the commencement of results will be announced from the twenty local government areas of the state. Okay. So uh, can you confirm to us if anything has come in so far? Uh, from from any of the 20 local governments? Amazingly, no. And it's quite surprising. Even local governments that are very close by, that are less than 5, 10, 5 kilometers to the INEC headquarters have not arrived. Why? We don't know yet. And it's quite funny that after 24 hours, results have not gotten to the INEC headquarters yet for announcement. It's quite strange, as a matter of fact. Can you also confirm to us uh, if any of the results uh, were uploaded as, as, uh, as at yesterday, uh, following INEX promise that uh, re the, the results will be uploaded to, to IREV uh, from the polling units? Interestingly, yes. Um, we have over 50 percent. I can confirm that we have over 50 percent of results that have been uploaded on the INEC REV portal. So at the moment, two political parties are claiming they are holding claim to victories unofficially. A party is saying they are leading, they have won. Another party is saying they have won. But now it's left for the IREV to determine who has truly won. And this can't happen not until the returning officer announces the result officially. Okay. But in, in terms of the performance of Beavers yesterday, um, based on your, on, on your, you know, on on your, uh, your your coverage of the elections, can can you bring us up to speed uh, on, on on the performance, you know, comparing that to the to the performance of, of the of the same beavers during the the presidential elections? Amazingly, the beavers worked optimally. The I I never kept to their words. It was a clear departure from what played out at the presidential election. In under a minute or two max, the beavers would have, uh, would have seen, you know, the PVC and in under two minutes you had done voting. And I think that's what actually helped with regards to the prompt um, closure of the polls and of course the upload of, of the results. So as fast as possible, the moment results were completed as at 2.30, collision started at different polling units. Results were already being announced at those polling units, and of course they were uploaded manually before it gets down to the local government, where it was uploaded to the IRF portal. You know, so results have been uploaded on the IRF portal, just waiting for the official announcement to be made by the returning officer. Okay, um, I was discussing with you yesterday, and um, we were talking about reported violence in in, in Ijebu area of Ogun State uh, yesterday. Uh, Please bring us up to speed on that. What exactly happened? Okay, so you recall that this particular election, it's a more of certain candidates, three frontliners, the PDP, the APC, and the ADC. Amazingly, the PDP is from the Ogun East axis, that's the Jebu axis, the Peru, the Kenya axis. The APC candidate is from the Ogun East axis, that's the Kenya Peru axis. So, as a matter of fact, two political big wings are from the same local government. You know, so it was more of like a, a, a show of force who owns this particular local government 
trying to intimidate uh, one another, trying to suppress, you know, the, the wishes of, of, of the electorate. And that was where, you know, violence erupted from. We also, I, can, I also confirmed to you that the police also confirmed, you know, our report that at some places they made arrests of those who were willing to truncate the, the electoral process. So arrests have been made so far. And of course, what we're waiting to know is the next line of action for these people who had destroyed ballot boxes, who burnt ballot papers, who truncated the process yesterday, and of course, who's, who and those who did not want the election to be concluded. Right. What, what is the police uh, saying about all of this? Uh, arrests have been made, but um, the experience shows that um, once the arrest is made, we, we hardly hear anything thereafter. What is the police saying, and uh, what will be the next line of action? All right, so what, what, what I gathered yesterday, of course, we had other sister security agencies on ground, but unfortunately, in this perceived hotspot, the presence of the military was not felt inside the, 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 the polling unit areas. Perhaps maybe it was against their um, line of operation or maybe it's against their code of ethics. You know, one would have expected that if the presence of the military was in this particular polling unit, it was going to be very impossible for these boxes, ballot boxes, to have been snatched. It was going to be impossible for ballot papers to have been burnt. And, of course, the, the police being the lead security agency, as far as um, this election is concerned, would actually wait for feedbacks from other, um, other polling units, other places where elections did not hold. Don't also forget that in Shagamu also, there were reported cases of violence. Ballot boxes were destroyed. Ballot papers were also destroyed. So perhaps they might be waiting for um, to get feedbacks with regards to um, what played out in other polling units before they actually take a decision. But the eyes is on the police to actually live up to its bidding by ensuring that those who have perpetrated this act, who have been arrested, are made to face the full weight of the law. Right. Um, just before I let you go, John, um, again, uh, what's happening at the coalition center and when when do we expect uh, that coalition will start uh, this morning? It's quite, it's quite unfortunate that after about 24 hours, an election has been held and results have not started being announced officially. As I speak to you, we don't know when. We are just, um, we are here, journalists are here, party agents are beginning to come out, you know, to the um, coalition office and everyone is just waiting to know when the result will commence officially. Of course, I should also let you know that um, results have also been announced at the state houses of assembly coalition center. We have results being announced officially and winners are already being declared at the state house of assembly in most of the local government areas that results have been, elections have been concluded. So what we're just waiting for now is just to get to know when this result will come down to the INEC headquarters here in the state capital and when commencement of results will be announced. It's quite funny, really, that a local election as this, and we have waited over 24 hours. I must also let you know that this didn't happen when the presidential election, you know, took place. As at this time, results were already been collated, and it's quite funny why results are not started being collated and announced as at this time. Uh, John, thank you very much uh, for that update uh, from state we'll, we'll get back to you much later today that was our correspondent uh, john felix uh, giving us uh, that update from the INE coalition center in abel we'll be right back with more updates for you stay with us it's election watch on galaxy tv <laughs>